So hi guys and um, welcome to Code with Aditya and what we're going to be doing today is making this project in scratch called um, Archery um, and it's like a Raspberry Pi project. So what you have to do, press um, green flag and then you like put the arrow around on the target and what you have to do is like figure out like a place um, on the target to get like the most points. If you get a bullseye in the yellow place, yellow target. Um, then it will give you 200 points and you will have, um, what's it called? You will have, a, like, it will make a sound. So, let's try to get a bullseye. It's a little hard, it's, like, hard to get a bullseye, so. Oh, okay, yeah. So, then, this uh, blue is 100 points, so we'll go to that. And then, so now what you need to do is go to your browser, uh, do projects.raspberrypi.org so projects.raspberrypi.org and this will be in the description too and then it will bring you to this page and then you do browse all projects like this and where it says any software click on that and then find scratch and click on that and then any any level do one dash creator and then click on archery. So this is the tutorial we're going to be following. And what you need to do um, is scroll down and then click on introduction, the blue the green button introduction. And then click on RPI, RPFIO slash archery on. So click that and then it'll bring you to the scratch template. And um, so make sure you're signed in right here and then click remix. So now we have the remix the project. So now we're gonna follow the tutorial, so keep going. And then, so we're here, follow this. And it says, when flag click broadcast new arrow. So we need to do, in events, when flag click, drag that out. And then do broadcast in the same events, broadcast, message one, and then click on message one and click new message and then name it new arrow and then press OK. So now we keep going and then in the same arrow sprite, um, put when I receive new arrow, go to X negative 150 and Y negative 150. So when I receive right here, it says when I receive message one, click on message one and change that to new arrow. So when, when the flag clicked, it's going to give a message. And when this receives a message, um, we want to go to motion and do go to X, Y, right here, this block, and do negative 150, negative 150, and negative 150. So this will put it, if we, if we um, click the arrow, it will put it in this corner of the screen. And then keep going, it should, then you put ses, set size to 400%. So go to looks, and then do set size to 100% and change that to set size to 400%. Okay, and then if you press the green flag again, it should make it really big. And then now this is how it should look like, and we have that too. And then also we should glide too. So we have to add a forever. So this 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 part of the code will make our arrow like move randomly. So go into the code, and then drag out glide one second to x negative one fifty and y negative one fifty. So drag that out, and then go to control. And then drag out the forever block right here. And then drag the glide block into the forever block. And then drag that under everything you have in the when I receive. So do glide 0 0.5. 0 0.5 instead of 1 second. And then change these negative 150 and negative 150 to go to operators. And where it says pick random under like the plus minus multiplication division, it should say pick random one to 10 and then put it to the negative 150 
and then do instead of 1 to 10 do negative 150 to 150 and negative 150 to 150 so the negative 150 to 150 and 150 okay the negative 150 150 and then drag another one in and put it where it says the other 150 and also there should be like a white outline when it should snap together so then change that the same negative 150 150 okay so now if we press the green flag it should like move around um and if this is like the too fast for you then you can change it to like one second again so it should be slower yeah so i'm gonna keep it at 0 0.5 for now and you can press the stop so we're gonna keep following it and now we're gonna do shooting arrows so what you do is um in the same arrow sprite do when space key click so when you press the space bar um in events where it says where it says when space key pressed so when we press space bar then it will um then it will do something so i'm just going to organize my code a little so when space bar pressed we will um stop all other scripts so go to control and then where it says stop all press drag that in and where it says all change that to other scripts in the sprite okay now if we keep going now drag and repeat 50 so repeat 50 um in the in this control tab right here then it's going to say repeat 10 but we can change that so repeat 10 to repeat 50 and then go to looks and do change size by 10 and change size by 10 to negative 10 change size by negative 10. so now if we try it out so if we press the green flag it should move around and if we press um the space bar then it should become smaller and then stop so that we have now the shooting arrow parts done so now we're gonna like do the scoring parts so um we're gonna add an if block touching the color and then it will say like 200 points so here we're gonna do in control if then drag that in and then in sensing touching color drag that into there it just should be like a white outline around it and then drag it in and then click on the color that here and then you see like this little icon right here like a pipette and then like the background click on that and then it should like make highlight this and then you see like the square in the middle it should be like put it into the yellow part so this will be like the perfect color like that so this is for bullseye so then it should like change the color here and then if we go to looks say hello for two seconds drag that into the if and then where it says hello change that to 200 points or whatever point system you want okay that's still there points for two seconds yes and then because this is a bullseye we want we want to celebrate them so we're going to start sound cheer so in sound it should say start sound cheer and drag that above the 200 points okay so now we've got the first scoring so it's really hard to it's really hard to um it's really hard to get a bullseye so i'm just gonna cheat a little and put instead of a negative 150 to 150 i'm gonna put zero 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 and now if we press this then it should go all in the middle and if we press space it should be a perfect <laughs> And it should start a cheer and give, say, 200 points, okay? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to redo that. Put that back normally. Okay. So now that that's done, we're going to keep going doing this. So now that we, we want to, like, make the arrow keep going, so we need to go to events and then broadcast message one right here. And then instead of message one, do new arrow. So then this will like restart the whole process. Click the different scores. 
So now now we're going to add like blue score for like 100 points, red score for like 150 points. So let's try that. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to uh, duplicate this right here. So what you have to do, click on right click on the if. So right click on the if and then it should say duplicate and duplicate that and then like drag it out and delete this broadcast new arrow like that and then drag it under the other if not inside you see not inside here like under it right right here and then um you can you can delete you can delete the start sound cheer because we're not going to cheer this time and instead of 200 points we want 150 points okay and then click on the yellow color and we want to change this to red so click on the icon again and then go over the red right here okay so now if we try it out this should be pretty easy to get okay let's see if it stops going so fast okay this is okay um well it should it should say it's kind of hard still to get this well it should say um it should say 150 points and not here so we can duplicate it this one again by right clicking and duplicating and then deleting the extra broadcast new arrow on the bottom and then change that to 100 points instead of 150 points points and then click on the color and then click on the icon and then do over blue like that so this will this will do 100 points and then duplicate it again for 50 points and delete this extra block so this is going to be 50 points 50 points for Oh, no, not the blue, the black. Sorry. So instead of blue, just do the black because we already did blue. And stop the stop the code. Um, we already have black, so um, so black is fifty points instead of blue. Duplicate that again, and we'll do zero points for white. Okay, and delete the extra one. So do change that to zero, and then change the color to white okay so now if we try it out um stop it and then start it again and let's try it out so let's see we'll go like right here okay 50 points that was that was close okay um let's try to get a bullseye or close to a bullseye oh okay we got we got 150 points it's pretty good okay so that was basically it and um so what can you do next like we can do another project we will do that in the next video so i'll see you next time don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah i'll see you next time